Snickers back. Yeah. And it's just gone Christmas Day, okay? We're just into Christmas Day. So I've just finished all the stuff in the kitchen, yeah, as you do. Yeah, yeah, that sort of stuff, getting it all ready. And it's basically done in our house, so that's what we're about. So I thought, just in case any of you got some minutes to spare or you get bored, coming up to the end of Christmas Day, because, you know, it's like grandparents and parents go to sleep a lot and stuff, you might want to wheel out the tube and learn some stuff. Okay. Now, a few nights ago, I had done some video editors in Linux, didn't I? Remember? Yeah, there's quite a lot of them, isn't there? I've only done a few of them. There's loads and loads and loads. But one of them was Flowblade. Do you remember? Of course you do. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. I was going to say a bottle of rum there, but I'm not allowed to drink one. This is Flowblade. This is where you get it from. This is the website. Okay. I'll show you this before. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to Features first before we open up the application. Okay. So its features are Insert, Overwrite, Trim, Roll, Slip, Spacer, and Box. I don't know what Slip is. Let's put that one up. Loads of timeline stuff here, loads and loads. Audio level displays, clone and copy and paste, so really on par with a lot of the other stuff. But the one thing it does do very, very, very well, I'll just, we'll get down to that in a minute. All the compositors are here, all the filters are here. I've got a couple missing, so I've got to reinstall some stuff. Proxy editing, batch render queue, etc., etc., etc. But it does do 4K really well, okay? Like quite a few of them do. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. If you want to go and download it, it may be in your repos if you've got a Debian based system, okay? Don't download that one, it's the old one. Just go to download on the Flowplate website, there's a dev file for you, or you can do it via the terminal, okay? Entirely up to you. If it's not available for your flavour of Linux, basically, you might have to compile it yourself. But if you have a good, it should be in the AUR, by the way, I know it should be definitely in that one. But other distributions, I'm not so sure. Okay, so yeah, that's the Flowbay website. Okay, super duper nice. So I've installed the most current dev file. So this is Flowbay for you. Here it comes. It's 1.14. This is the most stable version, by the way, apparently. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty basic. But if you look around the screen, okay, you've got your audio levels over this side, your timeline, scrub line, your bin. And add and delete for the sections you want to import. Flowblade is really, really good for proper camera work. You may not want to use it for doing video work for computer stuff, say just doing screencasts for Linux distributions, unless you've got a lot going on on the screen. It's not really worth using it. You can use a simpler one for that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a file. So we'll go to add. There's my video files, and we'll just go to blah, 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 blah. the one that's got something going on, really. Hang on. That one I do, audio software that I've done not long ago, okay? So, this is the audio soft one. We just drag it in, as you normally do. So, there we go. It all goes in. Now, apparently, if I go like this, I can make it a bit shorter, okay? Or if I go like this, I can make it a bit longer. It's all entirely up to what you want to do, okay? Yeah, you get me? You get me? You get me? So we want to see a bit more, so I'm just going to go down to about there. Controls are really, really easy. Reverse, forward, play, stop, pause, capture, etc, etc. Yeah, I know, there's loads here. Over here we have overwrite. Okay, all the overwrite stuff is here. Splice out. Resync the selected audio. Yeah, resync the selected audio. Nice little feature there. Here we have added rendered transitions and stuff like that. Just show you that one here. Back and forward. Over here we have the audio mixer, and we have the title stuff here as well, a range log, some filters that you may want to use, compositors, project, and render. Now you get quite a few things to use in render, okay? So under encoding format, there's lots here to use, okay? MPEG-2, H.264, MPEG-4, Theora, lossless huff, lossless MPEGs, lossless H.264, which that'd be a good idea if you want to do some nice videos. Be really good, but I'm just showing you here at the moment about what you want to see, okay? So, anyway, what else is there? What about scrubbing the timeline? Can we do that? Of course, you can. Look, it scrubs, no problem. There's not too much going on, really. So, if I scrub slowly, 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 this, yeah. So, if you was doing a, an outdoor video, this would be ideal. The scrub is really good, okay? I'll just say that. On the top here, you have file, so new, open, recent, the usual, under edit. All the stuff you would expect clear filters 
Put a watermark in if you want to, and your preferences. If I go to preferences, I've got my preference set here for 1080p 60 frames a second. That's what I use for normal videos. And this I'm doing outdoor ones, and I'll do, maybe do 4K or 2K. Under editing here, your trim modes, your zoom controls. Remember, you can put some uh, hotkeys on if you want to. So it's up to you. Your view and performance. Okay. Do you want to allow flame dropping? Okay. How many render threads do you want? It's up to you how many you want to put on. Okay. So I'll just cancel that anyway. Right, where was I? Project, all the stuff here. Add media clip, add an image sequence, color the clip, create the pattern producer, log it, change your project profile and the proxy manager, and the render. I've shown you about that already. Tools, the audio mixer is here, and the media relinker. Content and your runtime environment. So I'm going to click that for you so you can see. This is my runtime environment. Loads and loads of filters, loads and loads of codecs for audio and video. And all the formats, okay. But I am missing some of this stuff here, so I'm going to need to actually install them manually. Unfortunately, if I want to use them, do you want to use them? You may not ever use them. It all depends what you want to do, okay. You can also play your video from here. So if I just click here, it's playing the video. The audio is in my ear holes. It plays really, really easy. So if I want to render that out, basically, you just go here, click and render, okay. I'm not going to click render here because I don't want to render it. But that's Flowblade. That's a really, really basic work through, or walk through even, of Flowblade. Now what I'm going to do in the new year, page four, we're going to do a video on it. So one of the things I'm going to do is go through some certain uh, video editors, and we're going to do the same sequence of videos, but then go through different video editors and see what the difference is, and if it would suit you, basically, in the other day. Yeah, super duper. Anyway, quick one for Christmas Day, that was. I don't want to save that. I hope you liked it. Have a good day. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. <laughs> of course you're going to. Yeah. Why? I've got Savion Blanc at the moment. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Sneaky Nicks. Sneaky Nicks. Sneaky Nicks. Ho, ho, ho. I'll have some drinkage. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Very nice indeed. Oh, that's wrong. It's New Zealand. Sorry, I forgot about that. Have a good Christmas. I'll see you next time. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.